Hi friends, my name is Yosef Sanchu. Welcome to the Tech Bro channel. So today we are going to explain on Python and Python virtual environment. How to create Python virtual environment. How to install the Python virtual environment. How to activate the virtual environment. And not all the activity in the VA deactivation also. So we'll check the version, how we'll check the version and all I'll be explaining for them. So first we'll go for the Python installation. Python virtual environment installation. So for that we need to request the internet on our system and where the Python is installed. So we'll type the command. A command is pip install virtual env. So we'll type pip install virt virtual env. So we'll put enter. It requests internet, so it takes downloads files and it is installing. Oh, it's already installed in my system since I was uh, doing the project multiple, before multiple times. So, the who is doing freshly, they request internet and it will download the files and it will install the files. They will get a final command that the in, installed successfully. So, next we will go for how to check the version of the virtual environment which we have been installed in our system. So for the checking that we will type the command virtual space hyphen hyphen version. So virtual env space hyphen hyphen version. And so it will show the version of the environment which we have been installed. So 16.7.5. It's a version and uh, of, uh, which has been developed and it has been installed in my system and people can install the latest version so now we go for the how, the how to create the virtual environment in our system as required for to us so for creating the virtual environment we are typing the command virtual env space name name of means what's the name we have given interested to give for the environment it re, uh, depends upon each person according to the each project everything it's it's not a matter so each whole can select their own environment name so that we'll type the command so name i have giving as a name uh, my python so my virtual environment name is my python so i put enter so it takes some time and already its base prefix has been in python 37 so it will take a little time for setting the whole files modules and the frameworks what's required for an environment to be in a python environment so it will take a little time we'll wait Yes, it has been done. The uh, setting of a uh, Python environment has been done. See here, we had given the name as an uh, my Python. So they had created a new folder and they had set up files, everything. They had executed the files and they had installed. They had created a, a environment for doing our Python programs and we can install and we can whatever we can install new frameworks, new modules, new APIs, ads, everything on our uh, Python environment. Now we have set all set for doing our projects in this environment. So now we are going further or oh, for uh, this is an uh, environment we have created. Now we go for uh, uh, inside the activating this environment. So for activating the environment, we have the command like the environment name slash scripts slash activate. This is a command used for uh, activating the Python environment. So going for activation. slash scripts slash activate so we'll put an enter so now it's on a sudden it has been showing as in my my python our python environment name wow. and c colon user slash folders so this is an a python environment which we have been created so now we are on that particular environment for doing our projects our uh, installation of and our frameworks different modules everything so now we are going for an a deactivation of the python environment 
so that we are using a command deactivate so deactivate we put an enter so suddenly it, it's in left from the our environment so it come back to our normal folder c colon uses windows j folder so our deactivation of an a, a python also we have learned so for Oh, uh, this is that what we heard today. We have learned how to install the virtual environment in our system and how to check the version of the uh, version of the environment we had installed in our system and how to create an environment in as required in our names or the, whatever names we request. And we have came to know that how to activate the Python environment in our system uh, for working in our projects and how to deactivate our. Python and women using the deactivated uh, code. So, thank you for all for watching me and please do subscribe and like the video. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.